So hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are kicking off the holidays. I'm bringing you along with me to do some shopping at the at-home store. We're gonna be doing some Christmas decorating here at home, and I have a great dinner recipe for you. My quick outfit of the day is just like my winter uniform. I have a cardigan on from Ann Taylor, a scarf from H&M, my favorite Levi's, and my black Franco Sarto booties. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So I am out the door early this morning because I wanted to get to the at-home store before you know it got too crowded. This is the Sunday after Black Friday and I'm starting my holiday decorating today and I just have a couple things that I'm on the lookout for. So let's see what they have. So this is what I ended up bringing home from the at-home store. You know, you know, after Good Friday shopping, they were pretty well picked over, but they had a ton of ornaments left, and that's really what I went there for, and I think I came home with a ton of them. Now, they had these packages there of mixed ornaments, which I thought were such a great idea and such a great deal. There's like 50... Um, shatterproof ornaments in each of these and they were $9.99 a piece. I mean, I don't really don't think you can go wrong for that price. So I picked out um, three containers of them. The first one is what they're calling the winter frost set, which is all like different grays and silvers. They have these little like crackle ornaments in here, which I really love and some glitter ornaments. This one is your you know, traditional red and white. And then this is, I think their winter holiday set, which is like mostly different shades of white. So I know this is a lot of ornaments, but I have so many ideas of what I wanna do with them. I'm going to try to make um, like a garland for my staircase, which I'm gonna be using these red and white ones for. And I also picked up a smaller package of just the black glitter ones because my idea in there is you know Santa Claus and Santa Claus is pretty much you know red white and black so these are the ones I'm going to use I think for the hallway and the other ones I am going to use like all over the house and anything that I have left over I'm just going to put up on my tree. So while I was there, I also picked up these really pretty pine cone glitter ornaments. I love pine cones. I have them out all year long. So I think these will look really pretty in a bowl, you know, mixed with um, real pine cones. It'll just add a little bit of sparkle that'll, you know, catch the light. And then I also picked up this set which I thought were really beautiful. They kind of mimic um, mercury glass, which I really love. And they have a couple different shapes in here. They have some pine cone shaped, um, some round ones and some like dewdrop looking ornaments. I think they're just beautiful. So I think I am set for ornaments for any project <laughs> that I am gonna be working on this season. Now I also picked up just two rolls of ribbon which i thought this was so cute it's like a little love bug with a tree on top and i just love the colors of it because it's just green black and white and on that like nice and neutral base so i got a couple of those and i also picked up a wreath which i will show you when we go downstairs I have been collecting all these little things that I come across as I've been out and shopping, and they're just a big pile of things here in the craft room. So I am really excited to get started. So why don't we head downstairs and see what we can put together. 
So I did bring home this wreath from the at home store. I just thought it was so beautiful and unique. I loved like the vines that were coming out of it and the little bird in the nest. The only thing that I changed was that I added some of these um, ornament, ornament balls that I had gotten there and I thought just a few of them would really go a long way to bring a little color to it and really go with the rest of my holiday decorations. You know, finding a few new things really does help get me inspired and excited to decorate for the holiday. My husband right now is in the basement pulling out all of our bins of all of our Christmas decorations. So let's get down there and see what we have to work with. So we went ahead and got everything out for Christmas. This is all of my Christmas buckets that I have in our little storage space in our back room. It's a lot of stuff and I realize it's a lot of stuff. So I think I'm going to be going through everything, you know, as I decorate and putting aside the stuff that I can easily donate. Um, my daughter is moving in January. so. I want her to go through everything and take maybe a couple things that she wants for um, decorating her apartment for next year. So that'll be a great way to find a new home for a lot of these things. Now up here, those are my big <laughs> wreath bags. I have um, probably four wreaths sitting right there. Um, here is all where I have all of my ornaments and the other things that I decorate with. So. It is a daunting task. Every year I look at this stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you even begin? But this is the way we bring a little bit of joy into the season, so I really can't wait to get started. So far today, I just have my living room and my family room tree up. The one in the living room is a flock tree that I got from Walmart a couple years ago. This is my favorite tree. I just think it is so pretty. I usually put um, a lot of red ornaments and decorations on this tree and it looks so pretty you know at night when the lights are on so this is my living room tree and i'll show you my family room tree and this is our family room tree again just the lights are on it i have to go down in the basement um my my husband took all of the you know like the big totes out with all the decorations and everything to me this is the hard part getting the tree up and getting the lights on it and the fun part of course is decorating so the trees are up and i think where i'm going to start today is in the front hallway it's the first thing that you see when you walk in the door so i have a couple different ideas on what i want to do in there so that's where we're going next now this is what the cabinet in the front hall looked like all dressed up for fall i really like having a large piece as like the backdrop for the decor that i have on top of the cabinet so this year i'm going to be putting up that large chalkboard christmas sign that i made last year that i used to hang in the family room this is also where my big wooden Santa lives throughout the holiday. I also have a little sleigh and packages that I'm going to put up there. And then we'll just have to see what we can come up with to add a little something different. Well, this could very well be the finished product, but you know, I'm not too settled on it. I think of the little sign on the side of the chalkboard is just a little too small and there's probably a better spot that I can put that. So I'm going to sleep on it and we'll see what happens in the morning. So after all of that yesterday, I went ahead and I changed things up just a little bit. I added that really cool um, felt ball garland up top and I switched out the little sleigh ride sign for my wreath here on the front of the cabinet. Again, these are still those square same balsam wreaths that I got um, down in Williamsburg, Virginia years and years ago. I really do use them for every season. I think they're just the perfect form for just about any seasonal wreath you would want to make. So here I just have this really simple sleigh ride free for all sign which lights up I have a red and black buffalo check big bow. I've added a couple sprigs of some different pine back there and I think it is just simple and perfect. So it's getting to be just about that time to start making dinner tonight. We're going to have chicken pot pie. This is a recipe that I've shared before on the channel. It was originally supposed to be 
turkey pot pie, but I have no turkey left over at all from Thanksgiving, so it's gonna be chicken. So as I'm chopping my celery and onions, we can talk a little bit about the holiday and how you guys are all feeling about Christmas this year. Now for me personally, you may remember, I am a little bit on the struggle bus this year, so I am really going to try to go easy on myself. I think a lot of my holiday anxiety comes from expectations that I put on myself. Nobody else puts pressure on me to do this or that. They are always just so happy to all be together. They don't care how many different cookies I bake or, you know, what good appetizers we have before dinner they are just always happy to be together and that's what i'm going to try to keep a hold of this year and just make it a sweet quiet happy holiday so after i chopped all the celery and onions i'm sauteing them in a large pan with about i think a third of a cup of butter i'm going to saute them until they're nice and soft and translucent then I'm going to add a third a cup of flour, mix that in really well and let it cook just a minute. And then you can slowly add your cup of milk and about a cup and a half or so of chicken broth. I want to remind everybody about our annual Christmas card exchange. I will put a slide up towards the end of the video with all the information that you're going to need. Every year we exchange Christmas cards. If you send a card, a note, a postcard to me, I will send one back to you. So be sure to look for that information down below and also towards the end of the video. Season your sauce really well and mix in your vegetables and chicken. Once everything is combined really well, take it off the heat and it's time to roll out your pie dough. Now I always use the Pillsbury pie crust for this recipe. It is just so much easier, especially on a busy weeknight. So now that your shell is all prepared, just fill it up with your chicken mixture and add your second pie crust. Flute the edges and add a few holes to the top to allow the steam to escape. So this is my little secret to making a really delicious savory pie. So once your top crust is complete, you're gonna give it a little bit of an egg wash with a beaten up egg with just a touch of milk in it. And then you are going to sprinkle all over the top everything but the bagel seasoning. I use this seasoning on all the different bread and dinner rolls that I make. It really makes a huge difference and it does make the pie really beautiful too. I always bake these pies on a foil lined cookie sheet. You're gonna bake this in a 400 degree oven for about 35, 40 minutes. I will be sure to leave the full recipe for you guys down below. This is all the information for our annual Christmas card exchange. Last year we had almost 360 of us participate and I would really love to break that record this year. So please send me a card, a note, a postcard, and I will send one back to you. So thank you all so much for watching today. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you guys are doing on all your Christmas prep. I hope you will join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.